morning, California, and welcome to Good Morning, California. Today we're going to inform you about some issues that we're having in the government. Carrie, why don't you go ahead and recap and update everyone about what's going on in the government this morning. Good morning, Californians, and of course, Kate. It'd be my pleasure just to let you know midterm elections are right around the corner, and if you haven't registered to vote, go ahead and do so. Registration is required for you to be able to vote for state and local officials. Yes, that means you 18-year-olds should sign up and register to vote. Yes, indeed, Kate. Like Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want to see change, you must put forth the effort. Did you know that 60% of people are registered to vote but don't actually vote? Wow, that's crazy. I wonder why. Well, a frequent question that is asked is, what are midterm elections? Midterm elections are general elections that happen two years after the presidential election. Does this mean that Congress and Senate seats are up for election? Yes. This includes all 435 seats at the House of Representatives and about 34 seats in the Senate. But how much will this really affect us? For all Democrats, this could mean that the whole House turns into Republicans and the Senate. And for Republicans, vice versa, it would be full of Democrats. With that said, what are some of the most important things that we need to know about voting? As citizens, we have to be registered to vote. And with voting comes different places and times that we have to meet at certain locations. So we don't all have to meet at the same location? Why no, Kate? Then we'd never get anything done. Did you forget we're in California? You know what? While on this subject, Carrie, do you happen to know what a push-pull is? A push-pull is when the opponent uses slander comments against the other one to try to persuade us to vote for them. Oh, I see. So uh, one example would be in the 2000 elections when George Bush used slanders against McCain about his corrupt finance system. Yes, that would be an example, Kate. Um, now that we know the basic information about midterm elections, we want to hear questions that you have to ask us. Make sure to ask us on Twitter at Good Morning California. We are beginning to stream these questions and answer them live, so make sure you tweet us. Welcome back, guys. We are pleased to see all the questions that were tweeted during the commercial break. Kate will read some of the questions, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. One question that was tweeted is, who is Amanda Renteria? Amanda Renteria is the Democrat representative of the state of, North of California. She is running against Republican David Valadao, and these two are running for the 21st Congressional District seat. What is a district seat? Um, the district seat, because California is such a large state, I think they have about 50 seats in the house. And so they're split up into different districts. Each district being um, Orange County has one. The Los Angeles area has one. The Inland Empire. Oh, oh, okay. Um, at this point, would Democrats or Republicans most likely be taking over this midterm election? Well, for the state of California, it usually tends to stay pretty democratic. Um, the rest of the country just really depends. It has become more Republican-dominated over the past year. Oh, I see. So I think one main question that a lot of people are wondering is, how will this affect us as U.S. citizens? This could lead to automatic determination of which party will take over for presidential elections. Um, let's say we have more Republicans in the House, it's most likely for them to sway voters to want a Republican president than to have a Democrat president. So this will also affect the way a bill is trying to be passed. When certain parties take over positions, they will get the majority vote, which means one party will take it over. Yeah, completely. And um, the only ability that the president has would be to veto a bill. But within vetoing, I think, what was it, that if, like, the Senate has enough, right? They the Senate has enough votes, they're able to override. Yeah, override the veto. So, with that said, stay tuned for next week when we will be giving the outcome of the midterm elections so we can fill you in 
on what you missed if you didn't vote or didn't stay with the elections. And make sure to vote because it really does matter. Bye. another day of Good Morning California. I'm Kate. And I'm Carrie. On today's segment, we will recap the final results of the 2014 midterm elections. Overall, the Republicans were dominant in the majority of them. Although, in the state of California, Democrats were more dominating in choosing Democratic Governor Jerry Brown. It's so funny because people ask me all the time, what is a governor? Could that really be a question? People these days. <laughs> Here in the United States, the governor is the lead of the executive branch in the state that he represents. So this makes another blue election for the House of Representatives in California. How close was the actual outcome? The Republicans did not stand a chance. Clearly, California is too liberal. As you can tell, we are inside right now due to weather issues. So Finally. rain. <laughs> No more drought. Well, that is just about wraps us up on another episode of Good, Good Morning, Morning California. California. Thanks, and please come again and watch us. <laughs>